some of you may have the same problem that I have. What's it called? Oh, the uh, I can't remember all the 31,102 verses in the Bible syndrome. You do too? Cool, we have something in common. You should totally subscribe to the channel and we have even more in common. Now, I love what we call the New Testament, but I learned a lot about the Old Testament over the recent years, growing fascinated by its context and theology. So in this video, I want to share with you two verses from the Old Testament that I think Christians would benefit from memorizing, especially if being into apologetics. Number 1. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 You must not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you must love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. Some of you may recall part of this quote from the lips of Jesus in Matthew chapter 22 verse 39. But as you can see here, He, the Lord, had also already said this to the people a long long time ago before Matthew again recorded it in his gospel account. But why does it only say your people instead of like all people? Something like the New Testament. Because God revealed this to the Israelites when they were in the wilderness. God had freed them miraculously out of Egypt and was going to give them the promised land after 400 years of waiting and warnings to the nations living in Canaan until their sin had reached its full measure. So the people of Egypt who had held them in slavery in the past, and now the people they were about to encounter. The lovely and sweet people in Canaan, known among others for their bestiality and child sacrificing, were for the majority of the Israelites the only two people groups that they really knew about. It was only logical to reveal this command with that kind of your people wording. Fast forward to the time of Jesus, many things were then different. Number 2, Isaiah chapter 48 verse 16 Come near to me, listen to this. From the first, I have not spoken in secret. From the time it took place, I was there. And now the Lord God has sent me and his spirit. Now, for those of you who don't know this verse and prophecy, or you don't see it yet, how about if I do this? Ding ding ding! What do we have for Johnny? Trinity! Here you see all Bible translations in the word for word category. By the way, you want to try something fun? Show this verse to your friends, family or strangers and ask them how many persons do you see it's being referred to here? Several renowned church fathers saw the Trinity here too. Take the writings from Origen of Alexandria, Augustine and Jerome for example. So much context and cross references could be provided. Let me show you one example. We read verse 16 here. Now let's read verse 12. Listen to me Jacob, Israel, whom I called. I am he. I am the first. I am also the last. Now let's go to Revelation chapter 22 verse 13. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Now who could possibly be the one talking here? Look at verse 20. He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming quickly. To which John replies, Amen. Come Lord Jesus. Read the Bible. Read the Bible. 